Mr. Chairman, and I also thank you for the great witnesses that we have that we collectively brought in at the right time. And uh, we have some problems right now that we need to recognize. And uh, we know that China is a, a full spectrum threat. We're, they're competing with us in every area, economics, technology, military, diplomacy, formation, uh, information warfare. Our witnesses today will give us a good idea of how China blends all of its tools of national power to achieve its objectives. That's something we need to do a better, do better here. The uh, 2018 National Defense Strategy, this document here, oriented the, the uh, United States military toward competition with China. I think we've done a good job of pressing the Pentagon to uh, implement that strategy. The Biden administration's interim national security strategic guidance should focus the entire federal government not just the military, on uh, long-term competition with China. But it's failed to do that. To start this year's budget does not resource our troops at the levels necessary to carry out this uh, 2018 NDS. Uh, President Biden wants to lead first with di diplomacy, but we know a strong military underwrites effective diplomacy. Uh, we learned that from others, including Ronald Reagan. Uh, we've got a budget that cuts defense when uh, we need real growth. You see the impact everywhere, underfunding of ships, aircraft, munitions, and more. And that includes the Pacific De Deterrence uh, Initiative, which the chairman referenced. And there's just uh, clearly a, a disconnect but from our language in the last year and the, uh, uh, from uh, the language now. We also just received the military un Unfunded priorities, let's be straight, these are not wish lists. These are military commanders telling us the combat risk we're taking by not adequately resourcing our strategy. And risk means deaths. We're not making hard choices, we're making bad choices. We also haven't yet uh, reoriented most of the U.S. governments to uh, great power competition. Our executive agencies don't coordinate very well. We consistently and con constantly ask the military to do things it shouldn't do when our federal agencies have failed to take action. We don't coordinate very well in Congress either. For the last month or so, we've been working on the so-called China bill, but uh, key national security com uh, committees, including this, this one, uh, were not uh, consulted at all in the, the hurried and chaotic approach to this bill. So to counter uh, China's comprehensive strategy in this long-term competition, we need well-thought-out bipartisan and effective legislation instead of the rushed language that we have now. I know our witnesses, they're the right ones at the right time. I appreciate the fact that they're here. They're very much needed and look forward to their comments. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you.